Okay, so today I'm going to go ahead and test out uh, various uh, different style antennas. Uh, these are uh, three different ones I'm going to test for the transmitter and three different type I'm going to go ahead and test for the receiver. I have two different uh, screens. I'm going to go ahead and record uh, each one. They both have DVRs on them. I'll go ahead and compile these together and go ahead and uh, share the results so that way everybody can help uh, make an educated decision in regards to what kind of antenna uh, combination uh, seems to work best for them. Okay, so the first antenna I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and test out is going to be the uh, the stock one that came with the uh, with my immersion uh, 600 uh, milliwatt uh, transmitter. I have uh, two receivers here. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my clover here, uh, the mushroom, and then I'm going to use a stock one uh, for this other receiver. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off, and then I'm going to use one antenna uh, uh, on each, so that way we can go ahead and tell uh, the actual differences uh, between uh, each one. Okay, now this should be the the, uh, the the optimal setup. So this right here for, for good for short range, and then this right here for the uh, for the long range. So I'll go ahead and do the uh, the same test. I'm using the uh, uh, the best antenna that I do have for the, for the transmitter. So I'll go ahead and uh, compare this again, and uh, we'll see how this goes for the uh, for the last test.
Okay, so at this point, you probably figured out which ones, uh, which one seems to work the best for my particular setup, and that the stock antenna pretty much is uh, junk. Um, so moving on from that, based on my particular uh, configuration and testing, it seems that using the cloverleaf style on the receiver as well as on the plane seems to be uh, the best, uh, the best of both worlds. I also tried using the uh, more expensive, uh, really, rather nice uh, antenna, but that seemed to produce uh, rather poor results. Doing some more research and trying to figure it out, thinking that this particular antenna should have produced better results, I figured out the reason why. This is a rather cheap antenna. Uh, I didn't get the expensive one, and the reason why uh, it didn't seem to work very well, I'm going to go ahead and test this out, is because when you actually look at these, there's, these are two different ones. One of them is the original, and the other one is one that I, I made. Um, there's left-hand circular polarized and right-hand circular polarized. Basically, think about this. If you take your hand, your right hand, and you curve your hand, if your fingers in as you're moving up, that's a right hand polarized that's how that's how it twists so the original the original one on here was actually a left hand and the antenna here is right hand and the clover leaf i believe is also right hand so when you mismatch the actual uh, antenna uh, directions it's basically using the equivalent of these so Hopefully, with this next test, um, be able to test out the clover leaf as well as the uh, circular wireless uh, antenna like this one, and hopefully, I'll get uh, much better results.
Okay, so that time there was noticeable improvement, and my uh, receiver was uh, definitely using the uh, um, the actual directional uh, beam antenna uh, for receiving most of that signal. Um, so it seemed to work out uh, much better. Um, I'll go ahead and do uh, one more test. I'm going to take the uh, little uh, 90 degree little angle um, off. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and have it just sticking uh, straight off the back instead of at a 90 degree angle and see if that uh, that changes anything. So just one last test.